Hey, Josh Kreps here with Kreps Home Inspection. Um, just going to talk to you today about crushing windows. Uh, what causes it, when it happens, and some of the things you can look for, and, and maybe some of the repairs that, uh, that may need to be done. Let me start off by showing you kind of what's going on. All right, you can see here, hopefully, where we've got uh, a brick exterior, uh, uh, a good, you know, high quality window uh, installed, um, but it's pushed up here, right? All this is pushed up. And what's going on there is that when they install this window, the window is installed and attached to the exterior framing, right? And naturally the wood kind of uh, settles and dries over the first couple of years. And as it does that, it drops down, all right? Well, the brick outside doesn't move at all. It goes all the way down to the footer. So it's got no give in it. So. As this exterior framing kind of naturally settles and dries and it starts to drop, uh, the window pushes up against the brick. Now the problem here really comes in that the masons should have left a, you know, maybe three quarter or half inch of a gap there uh, underneath um, it uh, um, to allow for that movement, right? And probably more of a gap is needed on the second floor and less on the first floor. And you can look at newer windows, and, and newer windows actually even have a sticker on the bottom that says, hey, Masons, you know, don't put the, the brick so close. Um, but what inevitably happens is you'll see here, right? So it starts to push that up. This is problematic for a couple different reasons. One, it can cause damage to the window and keep it from uh, opening and closing uh, properly. In this particular case, I think the biggest concern that you've got is that water hitting this window is gonna run down and it's gonna go in behind the brick, which is not what we want. You can actually see, if we go on this other side, the condition is actually dramatically worse. Um, it's actually, pushed on it so much so that the uh, the brick seal has actually curled upwards and pushed upwards. And from the outside, uh, you can actually see where uh, there's a pretty good gap underneath this. So this whole thing has dropped, you know, probably an inch uh, and, and caused a decent amount of damage. So um, in, in this particular case, the fix is going to be actually removing all that brick, cleaning it all out, making sure the windows uh, are good, uh, well flashed, and then putting the brick seal back in. So this is actually going to be a little bit more expensive to do. Uh, the other window we were just looking at probably will need the same thing, honestly. Um, it's not always the case. Uh, generally, a cheaper window might uh, succumb to the damage more and be harder to operate. Um, uh, because of it, but uh, these these pretty solid uh, sun windows have held up pretty decently uh, uh, despite this going on. All right, so if you got any questions about that, feel free as always to call, text, email, whatever works. All right, thanks.